Well, good morning. I thought I'd do something a little bit different and uh, give you all an update on what's going on. I know last year was uh, a lot of changes last year with us shutting down the shop. Uh, did get out a lot more. That was a good thing. So for this year, got some bigger plans. Obviously, this. <laughs> uh, we'll touch on that here in a minute. Um, first thing I want to say is I've, I've got a lot of people uh, reaching out to me about the uh, doing work um, here at the house on, in the new shop. And uh, honestly, um, you know, once I, once I got away from it, I realized I was just totally burned out. And uh, yeah, I've, uh, I thought I would get back to it after a couple months, but honestly, it, uh, it just never happened. Um, as you'll see here, I'm, uh, I gotta do a little video on, on putting the rack and stuff on this fan, and uh, <laughs> you can see that I can barely move in that shop to start with. Uh, kind of moved in, moved on to the wood shop, and never cleaned the place up. So they're still, still looking for tools most of the day. <laughs> Um, so yeah, as far as the shop goes, that's, um, I think we're pretty much done. Um, so now we're just going to focus on, uh, making videos and, uh, I've started up a second, second channel and a new business called Evolution Woodworks. Um, that's going to be my focus for now. And we'll do this, actually keep this as fun, um, I have a habit of making businesses out of my hobbies and ruining them, so it's good and bad. But um, so yeah, moving on to the van. Why why did we buy a van? Um, so we've got we have plans in May to finally make that trip out west that we've been talking about for years, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna head to Utah down into Arizona. We just accidentally picked the, the same weekend as uh, Expo West, so we're gonna stop in there for a day and check that out. Um, basically what it came down to is uh, Sue hasn't been, she hasn't stayed in the truck with me in almost two years. Uh, we usually take the camper out, which you haven't seen a whole lot on the, on the channel here, but uh, it's a little nicer. Um, for two people, if you're base camped in one spot for a while, the truck was uh, the truck is great for for me. Um, with the two of us, I've put a thicker mattress in there, and with the wedge shape, uh, honestly, I can't even sleep straight. I have to sleep corner to corner, uh, so that's going to make it a little bit difficult for two of us. And uh, you know, to be honest, we just don't hit that hit the hardcore trails anymore, so. Um, you know, this thing has two inches of lift, uh, almost, a, I guess it's a 31 inch tire. This might go a little bit bigger over time, but, um, with the all wheel drive and everything, I, th I think we'll, uh, I think we'll be fine with this. Um, and, you know, once I get the, once I get the inside built out, it'll just, it'll be nice to have uh, a comf comfortable place for, for both of us. Um, I do like going out by myself, but um, yeah, I miss having her out with me. So it'd be nice to have a good comfortable spot for both of us to enjoy. Um, so on the truck, that is currently for sale. Um, I'm gonna try to sell it. I've, I've left it completely intact for now. I'm gonna try to sell it that way. Um, give it a couple weeks here. If that doesn't move, then uh, there's a lot of parts on there I can put in the van, so I'm gonna start pillaging um, parts off of it. The camper is also up for sale. Uh, it's, it's been good. It was, uh, I built it four years ago as a prototype. That was, that was gonna be our possible trail tech camper and uh, COVID hit. And uh, you know, the shop actually picked up to the point where I didn't even have time to think about it. So we, we built the one and um, been using it for the last four years. It's been great. Uh, I think we're just basically consolidating everything down into one into the van. So, so yeah, that's our that's where we are for this year. The van um, first stage of the van is just going to be, you know, I have 
about two months to get this thing up to a point where we can live in it for two weeks. So um, I'm gonna try to try to make round one as useful as possible without without going so far that it's uh, you know that I have to backtrack and tear everything out of it. Um, so yeah, in the first round, I want to have a bed, uh, toilet, and some water. Um, Power-wise, the van actually has uh, dual dual AGMs, 70 amp hour batteries with dual alternators, so I can tap into that and just put a fuse block in and run some lights and things like that off of it. And I think we'll be fine with that. We're used to living in the truck, so there, it's not doesn't have to be luxurious, but. The overall plan, obviously, I, I want to build this out into a nice, uh, nice camper van with um, you know, good cabinets and um, lighting and solar. And uh, at some point, I'd like to put a large battery bank in and get an air conditioner, 12 volt or 48 volt, possibly, up on the roof. Um, Till then, uh, yeah, for the for this trip coming up in May, we're just I'm just going to try to get it knocked out to a point. Um, point where it's usable. I've got, got the rack on top now, so now we have an awning. Um, I have a front winch mount coming with a skid plate so we can cover up that giant intercooler that's hanging several inches off the ground. Um, from there, I'm just gonna try to get a couple water tanks in here and um, yeah, get everything set up to where we can use it. So uh, probably make some videos on the van build coming up. Uh, I've already already worked on one for the roof rack, so we'll get that out here in a week or two. And um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you'll like the direction we're going and stick around with us. Uh, I think it's going to be an exciting year, and um, we'll see you out on the trail. Thanks for watching.